We want to thank the Lord God Almighty once again for leading us to the 11th hour of the last day of this month, the 10th month. We want to appreciate this great God whose presence and mercy has kept us through this year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, that is a long one. And looking back, we cannot but appreciate this great God with all of the troubles of 2020. God deserves our praise and He deserves our honor. That we're still standing is simply a sign that God is watching our back. And I know that He will continue to keep us strong for Himself, for His honor, for His glory to the end. He is called the Alpha and He is called the Omega. He is known as the beginning and He is acknowledged as the end. So if God has started this year with you, then believe him and trust him that he's going to also see you through to the end. So much to think about. So much to pray about. Sometimes so much to fear. But I think that this shouldn't be the story of those who know God. Your life is not in your power. Your life is in the power of God. The best way to live your life free of fear and free of trouble is to learn to trust this God who has loved you so much. When you trust him, then you can live every day as it comes. When there is a storm, you remind yourself that there is a God of the storm. When there is trouble, you remind yourself that there is a God who knows how to speak to every trouble. One thing you must never do is to create a trouble for yourself. You, you, you are facing one trouble already that is not in your power. Creating the second trouble for yourself is worse than the trouble you did not create. It's worse than the problem you did not create. The problem or the challenge of many children of God is that when they face one problem, they create the second problem for themselves. And what is this second problem? The first problem hits them and they begin to be afraid of what will come. The outcome of this problem that they did not even create. The fear you create for yourself, the depression you allow yourself to go through is your own creation because you are too afraid where these problems, these challenges will lead you. I just want you to know that whatever storm that will hit you, God is right by your side. In all your trouble, God is right in that trouble. In all your pains, God is right in that pain. This is what we who believe God, who knows God, have come to enjoy. That we may be knocked down, but we are not crushed. We may be cornered, but we are not overcome. This is our joy, knowing the Lord. And I'm asking you, don't throw away this joy. And the scripture makes it very clear, the joy of the Lord is our strength. 
So thanking God who has seen you through despite the many challenges, the ups and downs, we still have reason to appreciate God. And I'm asking you to commit this um, 11th hour to the 11th month in praising God and appreciating God. As I speak to you and leading you through this crossover, I, I want to again speak words of encouragement into your life. Whatever you're going through, whatever the challenges and troubles you are facing, you have a testimony written in them. Every trouble that the child of God goes through with faith, there is an unwritten testimony. And that's why I'm asking you, don't create a second problem. By losing faith in God, you're creating a second problem. And that problem is capable of crushing you. Many a times, what crushes men is not even the first problem, the first challenge, the first storm that they face in their life. It is often the trouble they create out of their fear. So I am asking you, God is still in control. God is still having your back. God is still concerned about you. We have, oh, I've just heard about um, some of the developed country talking about their second lockdown. I, I can imagine what a lot of people are facing in that part of the world. We are praying for you and we are asking God to deliver you from the fear that kills. To deliver you from the fear that kills. I, I, I think and I believe that the people of the world need to understand that there is something beyond their powers. And men must see the hand of God. Men must read the handwriting of God for this generation. There is so much that humans are doing that is causing so much pain to the heart of God. So much. So much sin going on in the world. So much, so much evil. So much oppression. So much wickedness. And as long as things continue, human beings can never know peace. And that's why I'm inviting you children of God and all of you connected to the grace of this hour. Don't get yourself into the ocean of the world. Get yourself into the ocean of God's love. You will find your peace there. Let the world collapse. You will stand. Let heaven and earth pass away. God's word will not pass. And as long as you remain in God's word and God's word remains in you, it means you will be standing. So I want to speak to people like that, never to allow the news you hear to launch you into fear. You have gone through what has happened from January to now. Don't let them who never succeeded to knock you down the first 10 months to knock you down in this second part. Don't let them. Whatever it is, you are going to be safe. Whatever it is, God is going to protect you. And I'm asking you to trust this God. This is all it takes. Trust God. We have been battling recently also, and I think I need to pray about this and all of us. Um, I'm sure a lot of us have been so confused and troubled by the conflicting statements that our Holy Father uh, are made. Some people said, well, uh, the Pope is approving um, 
homosexual, lesbian, some people say no that. Look, what is the church teaching? And I know that the Pope can never say homosexual is approved. Is it is a depravity? He is a depravedness. Uh, he cannot say that. So whatever the interpretation so many people are given, the church has a stand for which the Pope represents. And the stand of the church is that what is seen is seen. No man can redefine sin. And the depravedness of men is not an invitation for others to remain in their sin. The mission of the church is to lead men from sin to righteousness. This is what the Pope knows and this is what he believes. And this is what we all stand for. This is what the church stands for. So whatever the interpretation anybody is given, I am saying to you that the teaching of the church about sin has not changed. And I am saying to people who have found themselves in this kind of situation that you can break with it. You can break with every kind of sin. You can break with every kind of oppression. These are powers oppressing your life. I have met with people with this kind of situation in my ministry and I can tell you that I am also aware of people that have completely given up that kind of lifestyle because they have come to understand that it is eating them more, it is destroying them more. So it is not as if it is a lifestyle that cannot be given up or that one cannot be delivered from. To feel that way is to limit the power of God. So I'm asking you to pray for people who have found themselves in this way like any other to understand that this is not a lie. LGBT and they are forming an association which, which again is showing to us and all who believe that there are strong powers that are trying to promote sin by every standard. When people form association of the privilege, what do you think they are trying to do? They are bringing their forces together in order to be able to dominate many more. But I am saying to us, we have a weapon and our weapon is prayer. And we cannot stop praying for them because we know they cannot go far. Anybody who lives in sin cannot go far. Anybody who lives in sin obeys the devil. The Bible says the one whom you obey is your master. So as long as we continue to live in sin, we are obeying the devil who is our master. This is a call for prayer. If children of God have become too weak in prayer, then the happiness in our world today is a call to reawaken the spirit of prayer. It is the only way to rise and to conquer. And I know, like I always say, the devil failed before, the devil will fail again. He was defeated in heaven, we will defeat him on earth. No matter how many people he tried to claim, God does not work by numbers. If there are five people that will stand for God, we can conquer this world. And I'm asking us, let us believe in the power of God that is in us. So I welcome you to this 11th hour of the, the last month of the tenth month that is launching us into the eleven month. I am asking the Lord to release the eleventh hour blessings upon your life. That He who has spoken from the beginning will watch over His word in your life. 
that it will see you through to the end. I say to you, you will not fail, you will not fall, and you will not die. If God has not said it is over, take my word, no man, no sickness, no affliction will say it is over. All I am asking you is, don't walk to the place where the enemies will have upper hand over your life. Don't walk there. As long as you remain in the safe ground, God will watch over you. Psalm 91 says, They that dwell in the shelter of the Most High will always abide in the shade of the Almighty. Say to the Lord, You're my refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. So, believe God, and I know that this same time, next month, we all will be here again to say, God, you are good. I know we will gather again to appreciate God, and we will get to the 12th month, and we will cross this year that has been so devastating and troublesome. Don't worry, God has spoken concerning the coming year. And it's going to be beautiful. Just, just believe God. Whatever is, God is working out something for you. So come on, let's welcome the Lord Jesus to his uh, precious altar with our praises as we go on our knees wherever we are. And may Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist spread out the wing of his love and mercy over you, over your home, and over everything that concerns your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And every prayer you are raising, every intention you are presenting to the Lord in the Eucharist today shall receive the yes and the amen of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's welcome the Lord.
was the son to praise you. He was the son to honor you. He was the song that is going on right now for the sake of this gathering. The angels are praising you with us, thanking you because we are saying we appreciate you. And they are thanking you, singing your praise. Wow! Thank you, gracious God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May Zion reigns the King of Kings. Ah. May Zion reigns the Lord. Oh, my God. 
compassion, to torture, to torment, to oppress many more life during the level of. Lord, we pray that whatever blood they are seeking to drink in the leavened month, let them not have it. Let them not have it, Lord. By the power of your name, let your protection be upon your children. In this leavened month, every plan of accident, every plan of misfortune, every plan of disaster, Yes, Lord. Yes, that God will be glorified in the eleven months. Pray that God will be glorified in the eleven months. Every step you take, in everything you say, Lord, be glorified in this eleven months. Jesus said, "This is the desire of my Father that He be glorified." Jesus said, I do this for the glory of your name. When he stood at the tomb of Lazarus, he said, it is for your glory, Lord. So I want you to ask God that everything for this coming month shall be for his glory. That God will smile for every action that you will take. That everything you will do, everything you will succeed to achieve, in this level more, God will smile. He's the one that will give the grace. He's the one that will give the energy. But yet, he's so happy when he sees we are able to do what he has given us the grace for. So pray that the grace he will give to you by reason of your connection to this hour for the level more will not be a waste. It will not be a waste. That God will honor his word in your life this 11th month you are about to enter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, I bless every good that is coming to you this 11th month. I ask that the power of the living God, the glory of the living God, the presence of the living God shall protect you to see the good thing God has said for this level more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And God's children say, Amen. We have a weapon of prayer. And we're going to use that weapon to raise this other intention unto the Lord. That the power of the living God, the power of the living God shall be revealed through this weapon. Bring your rosary. This is the truth. And Jesus was speaking to a young man the other day, and he said, use your rosary. Use your rosary, son. With the rosary, you can pull down forces of darkness and break strong. Rosary cannot be manipulated because it is an heavenly prayer. Many don't understand. Many don't know. But I'm speaking what I know and what I've heard the Lord says. And as I raise this rosary for you at this 11th hour to the 11th month, I'm asking God that the blessings of the 11th month shall look into your life. 
I am ready and we're going to pray first using the glorious mystery and this is specific and for a purpose to raise the glorious mystery. This is the celebration of Christ's victory over oppression, the celebration of Christ's victory over sin, evil, darkness, bondage, sickness, affliction. And as we raise this glorious mystery this hour, I'm also asking God to release that resurrection power over your life to overcome whatever sickness that has been eating you. I want to connect persons who have shared with me about what they are going through in their lives as I raise this mystery. Persons who have told me, Father, I feel oppressed. I feel oppressed by the powers of the enemies. I, I, I feel oppression in my sleep. Every time I close my eyes, I see terrible things. Some say there are particular persons that come to oppress them. I want to connect these people to this prayer right now. And every one of you who are right here, every one of you, I want you to right now pray God to rescue you from oppression, every kind of oppression. I want you to speak to the Lord first and I will conclude the prayer for you. Tell God to free you for the word of God has already decreed in Psalm 72 verse 12 and 14. He says that God will rescue the poor who call to him. He rescues them from oppression and violence because their lives are precious to him. This is why you should talk to God. I don't know what is oppressing your life. I don't know. Somebody also shared with me, was it this morning or yesterday? He said, Father, since we started praying Psalm 118, there is this person that has been oppressing my life. For the first time, they came to me and said, we have answered. They opened one door and said, I think you can go now. You can't remain here. We have answered. And I said to him, yes, if they don't answer, they perish. But this is the power of God to free you from your oppressors. So I'm asking you, speak to God. Look at every area of your life where you feel oppressed. Spiritually, maritally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, financially, in your marriage, in your vocation, in your family, in your neighborhood, in the places where you are walking, they are oppressing you. I want you to begin to speak to God about it because God wants to answer you. God wants to answer you. Anything oppressing your life, this is the hour. Father, in heaven we honor you. We thank you for whom you are. I stand this hour as I raise this resurrection mystery. For every man, every woman that has suffered oppression, in the name of Jesus Christ, let that power of oppression be broken in the name of Jesus. Gracious God, as I raise this mystery today, I pray, look down upon your children. Those who come to oppress them in their dreams, let them begin to lose their power. Many a times, Lord, they sleep and wake up and see mark in their body. Father, deliver your judgment in the name of Jesus and break the power that torments your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, ancient of things, King of glory, truly 
present in the Blessed Sacrament. Protect your children from all oppression. Whether it be physical or spiritual, whether it be emotional or moral, whether it be psychological or financial, in any manner they are oppressed, may this level our grace, Lord, break the spirit of oppression. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Our Father, what in heaven, I will be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We must this day our deliverer and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your will, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your will, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, and now on the hour of death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, and now on the hour of death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of death, amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, one without an Amen. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fire of hell. Lead our souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, we're going to take down the second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I know that there are so many people that are suffering sickness, pains. It's not just about wearing clothes. People carry a lot of things in their body. I want to ask God's mercy for people like that. And for you, whatever the sickness eating up your life, whatever the disease that is eating your body, we still believe in the God that heals. The Lord Himself said, I am the God that healed me. I can say again and again, I am a beneficiary of God's healing in many occasions. So I still know that He heals. I know. And I have seen many that He has healed. And when we pray together like this, 
and join our voices together. Healing, the power for healing can be released. The word of God is said, said this prayer made in faith we heal the sick. This prayer made in faith we heal the sick. The Lord will restore them to health and the sins they have committed will be forgiven. This prayer made in faith. And as we pray, I, I, I want you to like the, the leper. The Lord said, go. And they did not say, Lord, but we are still carrying leprosy. They went. And as they were going, they discovered they were healed. When God speaks the word, the day God speaks the word into your life, your healing has started. Are you hearing me? The very day God speaks his word into your your healing has started. And all I want you to do right now is to connect yourself to this prayer in faith. So now, you use your mouth to ask God for, for healing, for mercy. And I will forgive as a priest of the Most High to speak the word into your life. So pray God for healing right now. Whatever form of healing you are looking for, maybe not just for yourself, Maybe for somebody dear to you that you know has been sick. Maybe somebody that you know has been going through pain. Whether physical sickness, physical pain, physical affliction. This Lord, we know you are capable of doing. God has not changed from being our healer. Pray for healing. Pray for healing. I am praying for everyone, especially those as they grow older, that God will also protect their bodies, that God will keep them safe, that your growing older may the anointing of God makes you fresher, so that sickness will not devastate your body. I am also praying for you, the young people, the, the children, youth, adults, those in the hospital right now, those at home, even those who are connected to this hour of prayer, let the power of His mercy deliver healing upon your life. King of glory, mighty God, you are the God that healeth us. I want to sing this song to you for your children, Lord. To acknowledge you as our healer and to pray that even as we raise this song, let your healing grace begin to touch somebody. Wherever they are, all who are connected to the grace of this level's hour, I pray the Lord in faith that there will be healing upon their lives from the crown of their head to the soles of their body. I connect to the merciful heart of Jesus that the fountain of healing shall be open that it will begin to flow to every part, every part, every part of that body, every part
Let every flow up to your children. Every sickness, pain, disease that are waiting on them for me, I speak the word of life to you. Let the power of God's word begin to dry you up in the name of Jesus Christ. Because this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, you have no right to destroy this body, whatever sickness, whatever they may be bear. I stand upon the authority of this holy I stand upon the authority of my priestly ministry. I stand upon the authority of the word of God that has made me. I stand upon the authority of the name of Jesus that at the name every name was bow. I stand upon the ruling grace of the Almighty and I address you sickness, disease or pain. You have tormented this body long enough. Begin to loose your host right now and be healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to every child of God this sickness that you have suffered, whether it be from the pit of hell, whether it be natural, whether the enemies are sent there, wherever, whatever means they have come, I command you now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free from that affliction. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Our Father, what's in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
to pray. In this new month, against every plan, and I mean every plan, hidden or open plan to harm you. Especially by those who hate you. Pray. The word of God says in Esther chapter 4, verse 7. And Mordecai told him of all that had happened and of the son of the money that Hammer had promised to pay for the king's treasury for the Jews to destroy them. How many people pay to destroy you? How many people conspire to destroy you? How many people? How many? Things happen behind you that you don't know. Please talk to God that every hidden or open plan to harm you shall not prosper with your life. Tell the Lord who protects you to keep you safe. Tell him to deliver you whatever they did not succeed to do in January to October. They want to see whether they can do it in November. Just as you are praying, also in January, February, March, till October, that Lord may every plan of the enemy be scattered. So pray now that no matter who they are conspiring with, no matter who they are aligned themselves with, no matter what they are giving to anything to use to harm me, Lord, you are greater than them all. I raise this mystery to the power of the Holy Spirit as you stand in this eleventh month. Father in heaven, we worship you and praise you. You have been the God that has kept us true. You have been the God fighting our invisible battles and even the one we see. You have been the God defending our lives and protecting us. We just sleep, we wake up, you have been the God behind it. Lord, I am thanking you for your children today. As I stand, Lord, in the gap of death, that every hidden or open plan to harm them shall not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep your glory, your word says, He that is from above is greater than he that is from below. Your children, Lord, have been born from above, and for that reason, Lord, you have lifted them to sit with you in the glory of heaven. So they are greater than those below. Whatever the plans from below to have them, 
May the powers from above quench their arrows. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am praying, Lord, Lord, whether they be friends or pretended friends, whether they are from family, household enemy, whether they be in my working place or they are my colleagues, whether they be also in my neighborhood or even in the church wherever Lord they are to harm me, to harm your children. Father, as we raise this mystery today, may their plan be made useless. Grant, O oh God, that whatever the plan they can make, they will use their own hand to carry it. Yeah. The one who package me, we carry his own load, Lord. Our head will not carry the load on us are packaged. Father, in the name of Jesus, no one will harm your children. In this level of I come against every power to harm you. God will raise you up there. Whether you are on the road, whether you are in the house, whether you are at work or whether you are at rest, when bread found a call to harm you, may the heavenly presence be available to defend you. When they think you are weak and they say this is the time to strike, May he who says, let the weak say, I am strong. May the strength of God come to defend me. The word of God says, the Holy Spirit come to our aid when we are weak. So let the enemy know that if they think they can strike us at our weakest point, in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit will rise to your defense. The Holy Spirit will rise to your defense. The Holy Spirit will rise to your defense. So shall it be. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, you may sit down if you want. You can sit down if you want. Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, and deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, our God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed are the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed are the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, Queen of Praise, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was from the beginning, it is now and ever shall be the Lord of our God. Amen. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fire of hell. Lead our souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, help us. Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, help us. Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, help us. And we take the fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of our Blessed Mother Mary into heaven. At this point, I want you to pray for the favor that will change your story. These levels of months. You see, this is God. When you ask, when you ask, it is registered, you will receive. Pray for the favor that will change your life, your story, your family, this level of months. They never see anything for your life, oh. huh. Those who are after you have not seen anything yet. Don't worry. There is a favor that when it begins to manifest, people will be wondering how it take happen. Just ask God. I want you to just talk to God with your own mouth. You know what the Bible says in Luke chapter 1 verse 30 when the angel of the Lord came to Mary. He says the angel of the Lord said to her, Fear not Mary, for you have found favor with God. Pray for divine favor like our blessed mother Mary. Somebody will look at you and say, Can I please be of help? Pray for that favor. Abraham was a favored child of God. And we all know what happened with him. When the king tried to take his wife, <laughs> and, and God warned him in that dream, you better return this woman back to the old man, or else I will deal with you and your family, your household. That is when people will upon you. You dare not touch what is God's own when God's favor rests upon you. Pray for favor this day. As you pray, I'm asking the Blessed Mother Mary to join our voices with hearts. For she's a woman that knows what favor means. <laughs> you remember, you remember, you remember when the wine was finished and she came to Jesus and said, Son, there are no more wine. Jesus said, My time had not come. My time had not come. So why are you troubling me? But where there is favor upon the person, even when there is no time, it will happen. Probably sometimes the reason you are not getting what you are seeking for, favor you are looking for, is that you are yet to ask for divine favor. I'm not talking about the favor of men. I'm talking about the favor of God. And I want to pray for you this hour. I'm asking you to please 
Wherever you are, just go put your hands. I want to pray for God's favor. Where there is God's favor, men will look for you to favor you. And that's why I'm not asking you to pray for the favor of men. You have, you have probably prayed for favor of men for years. Oh Lord, please touch that person to help me. No Lord, let your favor be on me. That whosoever that sees me will beg to pray for me. I want to bless you this hour. Please receive it in faith. Father in heaven, King of glory, I thank you. The angel came to Mary. The Bible says in a little town of Bethlehem, a little town, to a virgin, in one small house. And the angel said to her, Fear not, fear not, Mary, you are found faithful with God. I ask, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary with us today, Father, Bless every man, every woman, every child, every boy or girl with the divine favor. I am not asking for the favor of men, I'm asking for the favor of God. Father, cover your children with favor, just as they cover themselves with garments, with clothes. Cover them with favor, Lord that they will know that they belong to God. Lord, let every step they take this level more reveal your favor in their lives. Every place they enter this month, let it manifest your favor in their lives. When your favor is upon a man, not even the enemy can defeat him. Father, cover your children with favor. This I ask of you, my Lord. This I pray for for your children. As many, Lord, that are connected and as many that look up to our prayers, Lord, may this level our favor. Locate them in the name of Jesus. And I say, so shall it be, so will it be, and so must it be, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father, what's in heaven, I will be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You must go stay on your own breath, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Your Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. O Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Your Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. O Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you, Lord, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you, Lord, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. The Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you, Lord, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you, Lord, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Let's pray at this point. Just bow your head wherever you are to the Lord. In the beginning and the end. And I want you to just pray God to see you through to the end. See you through to the end of 2020 and also to see you through to the end of whatever trouble, affliction, crisis that you have found yourself. This is what I wanted to ask God to see you through to the end. And this is what the word of God says. In Micah chapter 7, verse 9, the Lord says, We have sinned against the Lord. So now we must endure his anger for a while. But in the end, he will defend us and right the wrongs that have been done to us. Hey, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do you hear the word of the Lord? Yes, we are saved. And we must endure God's anger for a while, not forever. Just as what we suffer in the world today. But then the Lord says, in the end, he will defend us and right the wrongs and right the wrongs that have been done to us god will right the wrongs that have been done to you i know there are many who suffer also from the wrongs people have done to them god says i will write it right i will write the wrongs that have been done and he says he will bring us out to light. We will live to see him save us. Hallelujah. He will bring us out to light and we will live to see him save us. Pray God to help you to see the end. Whatever your story, whatever your challenge, this is the faith God is calling from God for you. Have faith in God. Every doubt, every disbelief in God's word can provoke anger from God. But he says it will last. But now he's saying to you that I will write every wrong to you. And it will bring you out to light again. He will bring, oh God, I thank you. He will bring me out to light again. He will, whatever the crisis of that 
sadness, whatever the, the tribulation, whatever that has plunged you into that condition, God says, I will bring you out into light again. And you will see God saving you. You will see the end of the story. Like Job, you will see the end of the affliction. Like Shedrach, Meshach, and Bethlehem, you will see the end of oppression in your life. Like Daniel, you will see the end of those who want to harm you. Yes, like Mordecai, you will see the end of the hammer in your life. This is what the Lord is saying. And like Joseph, you will see the end of Herod in your life. Look for a why you may have to go through what you are going through. Just like God told Joseph, take this child and the mother is going to eat it. It is for a why. It says, until you hear from me. And then the Lord came forth again and said, Joseph, go back. Herod and all those who want to kill the child are all dead. God is saying, I will bring you out to light again. And you will see the salvation of God. Father, I just want to thank you for your word. And I want to thank you for your assurance. I want to thank you for your children. Give them the grace to see the end of what they go through. Give them the grace to see the end of this 2020. Give them, Lord, the light of your face that it will continue to shine upon them. Bring them out of their trouble into light again. Bring them out of their crisis into peace again. Whatever, Lord, they are going through now, your Lord says is for a while. I pray that this level more May your grace come to visit them. As we celebrate the crown of our blessed Mother Mary, may they also see the end where they'll be crowned with glory and honor. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, our Lord, be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now they are for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless the you among women, bless the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless the you among women, and bless the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
and the ark of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and the ark of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and it shall be one without an end. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of God, lead us us to hell, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Jesus, have mercy on us, let's bet you do in their hearts. Hey, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, Hey, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, but by the children of Eve. To you do we send up our sorrows, mourning our weeping in valley of tears. Turn the most gracious advocate, your minds of mercy towards us. And after this, our answer, show to us the blessings of your own Jesus. O Clement, O Lord, O Super Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made more than the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, the soul that begot itself by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the reward of eternal salvation. Grant we beseech you in the meditation upon this mystery, in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what we contain and obtain for the promise through the same Christ. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Michael, Gabriel, and Rabbi, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Peter and Paul, pray for us. Our guiding angels, bless and protect us. And all you angels and saints of God, pray for us. I want to welcome you to this new month, the month of our redemption. May the Lord God Almighty, whom you have kept busy with, bring you to the place of your blessings. You will not fail. You will not fall. You will not die. And as you, those of you who are watching us, at the end of the blessing, please anoint yourself and your family if you have blessed oil and sprinkle holy water around your home and your soul. May the power and fresh anointing of this new morn be established over you and your family. And as you sprinkle that water, may the living water continue to flow in your hope, in your life, that every seed of grace and every seed of life and every seed of good thing you are planted shall grow from strength to strength. And once again, God loves you and may he continue to preserve you for his glory and honor. In this world, you will remain God's example to this generation. May your lives never grow dim. God bless you as we receive the blessings of the Lord. You are wonderful.
and the Holy Spirit. Happy New Month to all of you. Amen.